Hello, I'm Mike Russell. Welcome to CES in Las Vegas. This video contains everything I've discovered in the last few days right here in Vegas. Starting off with a bang, or should I say a beat? Robotic arms that aren't recycling this year. Well, that's not all they're doing. They're also mixing tunes on DJ decks. Robotics and AI, a huge part of the conference this year. And if you look behind me over here, there is a robot arm that's poised above a DJ deck. So potentially robots and AI are due to take my job and potentially your job very soon. Continuing along the DJing theme, it was DJing in the metaverse and a virtual car race as well. The line between real and virtual really does keep blurring. Next up, I came across some robotic dogs. Now, we've all seen these, the old Boston Dynamics dogs, but these were roaming the show floor. Amazing, some cool tricks, and dare I say, a little intimidating too. Ever wondered what the future of feeling might be like? Well, I had to play with a haptic pen. So I can actually go through either side. It really feels like I'm pushing into what I can see on the screen. That's crazy. <laughs> And no tech show would be complete without, well, uh, being watched. We all know we're being watched, but uh, some cameras really can track your body movements. And even the great range of cameras from my friends at PTZ Optics can track you wherever you walk on the show floor. And you'll see this one is fixed on me. It's gonna follow me. In fact, I'm gonna try and walk all the way down here and see if it follows me. And indeed it does. And only me, look at that. See, only me. All these people walking around, yet it's still tracked on me. Here's something if you're into health, quantifying, or you're diabetic and you want a painless blood glucose test. I didn't get a prick. I got a little laser inside my skin. And you know what? It does the job painlessly. I felt absolutely nothing. Blood came out as you would with a normal lancet. And then I was able to test it using this amazing futuristic uh, device that would read my blood sugar. Of course, everyone loves a good piece of glass. Well, it's even better if you can watch things on it. LG had the first ever 4K transparent TV on display, and it's quite literally like looking into the future. Oh, and not forgetting their big announcement, meet Q9. Yes, it's a cute AI agent from LG. It can do the chores, it can greet you at the door, it can take care of pretty much everything around your home while you're not there. This is taking the smart home to a whole new level. And if you're a swimmer or a runner like me, you'll be into the headphone offerings by Shox that allow you to hear your surroundings as it leaves the ear canal open. Really quite cool game-changing tech, bone conduction headphones, and you can even listen underwater. They announced their new Open Swim Pro at the CES show this year. Oh, and if you're going to a pool party, hey, you'll never be without sound again. Uh, as I came across this waterproof speaker that can be dunked under the water, and it's as durable as it was loud. I also swung by the Audio Technica booth, taking a step back in time, reminding us why we still love analog gear. Yes, old school and still very, very cool. Drone soccer, anyone? Well, I watched the Korean national team and uh, it felt a little bit like a sci-fi movie coming to life. Drone sports are the next big thing and I was really surprised to discover that many nations around the world have their own national drone soccer team. It's pretty invigorating to watch. I enjoyed the match. And of course, CES isn't complete without 3D printing, holograms, and AR glasses. Whoa, that's super cool. This is next level, so I own a set of Ray-Ban Metas, and this takes that out there. When I got a little bit tired at the show, well, I just sat down in an award-winning massage chair like this one and had a slice of heaven. And to wrap up, a fridge that lets you make calls and watch YouTube. Uh, so I just tested it out and watched a video of mine. Samsung really is turning kitchens into entertainment hubs. Imagine watching your favorite YouTube video on your fridge while you're cooking dinner. This has been CES 2024 in Las Vegas. It's been crazy. There's been so much to see, so much tech that's really impressed me. AI, robotics, so much more than that. I think our future is going to be very automated, but in a good way.